And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Samara Kokinos. Good Thursday morning. Your time is 643 and we've been tracking a cold front moving through the valley all morning long. Hasn't really brought us a whole lot of rain and you can see that on the first one five satellite and radar. A lot of that heavier rain has been situated offshore and away from the valley, but we still have the potential. We could see maybe a brief sprinkle near the coast this morning. Here's the location of the front currently moving through through well, it's actually through already about three quarters of the valley getting closer to the coast as we speak. A lot of that heavier rain staying over the Gulf and then moving into the southeastern United States today, but really staying away from the RGB. This is what we could see and future track indicates maybe a brief sprinkle here closer to the coast this morning, but that's about it. After that, we'll have high pressure settling behind that that brings all that dry, stable air into the RGV. So we'll have plenty of sunshine for the day ahead and pretty nice setup for the day. The reason why it's going to feel different, well, those dew point values are going to drop behind the front, that drier air mass moving in. It's already very evident from about Wessico going west. So anywhere between 47 and 48 are where your dew points are at. Ahead of this front, or actually it's currently falling, Raymondville and Harlingen and seeing your dew point values in the mid 60s and Brownsville sitting at 68. So it's still a little on the muggy side there, but it's going to settle in nicely this afternoon. You're not going to feel the mugginess. In fact, this is where we'll be today, right around 46 or so for your dew point. That puts us right smack dab in the middle of the dry category. And that is the key element to a very beautiful day in the RGV. The low humidity is actually going, only going to last today. By tonight, the southeast wind will return and it's going to draw in a little bit more moisture for tomorrow. We're going to feel very muggy and warm as we head into the weekend. We'll be right around 93 degrees there for Saturday. It will be very breezy tomorrow as well as Saturday and part of Sunday. So get ready to hold on to your hats. The breeziness returns. But look at Sunday, 95 degrees, a little bit more cloud cover and an isolated shower as possible. And that's all courtesy of the next front. So let's look at that on future track. Start the clock at 9 o'clock at night on Saturday. No Notice that the front will make its way into deep south Texas. Ahead of this, we're staying very hot and very muggy. Behind this front, still on the hot side, okay? This is not a strong front by any means. It doesn't bring this very massive cold air mass into the valley, so we're going to see temperatures remain above average. Right now, outside your door, mid to upper 60s and even the low 70s out there. A northwest wind will shift and become more northerly today, anywhere between 9 and 18 miles per hour, gusting near 25. So it's, it will be a little bit on the breezy side, especially for the coast. At the coast today, uh, we do have small craft advisories in place for both the bay and the Gulf waters. The bay until 1, the Gulf until about 7 o'clock tonight. So be careful out there. 84 is your daytime high. Later on tonight, if you're headed out for Taste McAllen, beautiful night. 82 degrees to kick it off at 7 by 10 o'clock tonight. It'll be near 72. But keep in mind, that's not a warm 72. It may feel a little bit cooler than what you're used to. Uh, so do carry a jacket with you. 62 will be your official overnight low. 92 for tomorrow. And then 93 as we head into the weekend. Notice your overnight lows get a little bit warmer each night until Sunday night. Behind that front, we are going to see low temperatures near 61. And that'll feel a little bit cooler. But by day, really no major change. There is that isolated shower chance for Sunday, but it's like around 10 or 20 percent. Temperature wise, we stay in the mid to lower 90s through the middle of next week with mainly sunny skies turning partly sunny by Wednesday. That's your updated first warm five forecast.